um, out here to the heat pump, my American Standard Heritage 13. Actually wanted to uh, show y'all a little video on her today. Um, I've actually got her set to the cooling mode right now, but I wanted to show her, show y'all uh, the heating mode portion of it, and where to hook your uh, hook your hoses and your gauges to. Um, right now, we're in the cooling mode, and I'm looking for 10 uh, degrees design subcool for this unit right here. And, uh, let's see what we got, guys. Okay, we're looking at uh, 9.8. Um, pretty close. It's you know it's fluctuating for the, with the TXV in there. But uh, actually, I was going to show y'all where you're supposed to really hook up at when you're actually uh, testing this in the heating mode. But you can actually test right here in the cooling mode also. This is what they call the true suction line. So basically, in this mode, we're in the cooling mode. So basically, there's a column of liquid shooting back to the indoor coil in there. And it's hitting that TXV and it's ba basically, you know, like an injector. It's basically like uh, shooting a mist in there, basically. And it's going through there and it's absorbing the heat and it's, you know, that's where you're getting your cooling from. And then it's basically turning itself back into a vapor. I know this is probably, you know, kind of short form here, but it's basically turning itself back into okay, a vapor. We've got our uh, suction line hose hooked directly to our true suction line. This is called the true suction line on a heat pump, on a four-way valve here. And we've got our uh, temperature probe hooked to it also. And uh, this here is actually called the true discharge line on a heat pump. This is where you want to be hooked if you're ever in the heating mode. If not, you're going to fry your gauges out. But uh, anyway, now that we've got them hooked up, we're looking like we got some regular pressures here. We've got like uh, 60 PSI on our suction. We've got 193 on our liquid. Uh, we're reading about 53 degrees on our uh, suction line temperature and 88 degrees on our liquid line temperature. Um, I was just going to give you all like a brief overview of uh, the four-way valve here. It actually acts like sort of like a like a super highway or something. You know, it actually, you know, uh, it routes the gas which which where it's supposed to be either to the indoor coil or the outdoor coil. Uh, now that we're in the heating mode. It's actually taken, here's the, here's the discharge line. It's coming up through here from your compressor and it's actually feeding through here and it's actually coming over here and I guess this is the high temperature discharge uh, line and you can fo actually follow it here and it goes right on out here where you can see out here and this is actually, the reversing part of it is basically how the gas is going. Um, that we've got a high temperature gas now hidden inside the house to the indoor coil. Once it hits that indoor coil inside my house there, it bypasses the TXV, okay? There's like a check valve in it and it bypasses it and then it starts going through, you know, going through all the coils and everything. And then once it goes through all them coils, it gives up its heat, okay? And that's what makes the house warm inside. As it's giving up its heat, it's starting to turn back into a liquid again. Now we've got this high pressure liquid here like I said, this liquid line is always a liquid line, as you can see. We can follow it right on in here. And see my nut driver there? You follow it on up. Now this liquid is actually coming back to the unit now. And what it's doing, now it's actually hitting this TXV here. In the cooling mode, it bypasses this TXV. In the heating mode, it actually comes to this TXV, it hits the TXV, it disperses the liquid through the uh, uh, through these uh, pilot tubes here and what it's doing is that you know if you can see you can look at the pilot tubes and they're going all around these coals and everything and what that's doing is believe it or not it's actually even though it's cold outside this coil here is actually cooler than the temperature it is outside so what it's doing is it's actually picking up, picking up heat from the outdoor temperature and as it's picking up that heat it's starting to become a low pressure uh, uh, a low pressure vapor again and as it's doing that, it's going on down and then it's able to be compressed by the compressor and it starts its job all over again as a high discharge gas. And then, and then it comes as a high discharge gas and it goes back to the unit and it just completes the cycle over and over and over and over again. So uh, basically, these two, you know, this one here is cool to the touch. This one here is hot to the touch. Now in the cooling mode, this one here would be hot to the touch and this one here would be cold to the touch. It's all, basically, you can look at it as the, the flow of refrigerant. Um, it's either hitting one TXV or it's bypassing a TXV. 
Um, I don't know if that makes any sense. I, I might get a little diagram out and, and try to show y'all a little better. But okay, with these little uh, these little pilot tubes here, this high pressure gas, uh, you know, once it's told what you know from the thermostat, what it's told what what uh, what you want to be in, it'll actually send a high temperature gas to either the left side or the right side, and that's what actually moves that uh, that little cylinder in here to open up one of these ports or the other. But uh, uh, I hope that's a little interesting to y'all. Um, I'm kind of learning everything myself too, man. I, I really enjoy working on this stuff. So, anyway, I uh, hope this helped y'all some. All right, y'all. Outside ports here. I've got it hooked to the suction line outside port, and I've got it hooked to the liquid line outside port here on our heat pump. However, that suction line is no longer the suction line. It's actually a a high pressure high temperature discharge line. And as you can see, I, like I said, I don't suggest anybody doing this with compound gauges that'll ruin them. Um, as you can see, we're reading, what is that, 190, 191 PSI, and 179 PSI on the liquid. We're at 115 degrees on the discharge line, the suction discharge line, and we're on a, well actually it's not a suction line anymore, the discharge, the high temperature discharge line. And we're at, uh, on the liquid line, we're at 79.